Yeah, <clears throat> hello and welcome to another tea session. It's a, a somewhat shorter session and a smaller cup. So let's get going. Oh, not 15 plus 15. <clears throat> let's go. What what if we do? What if we do a really quick one? Let's let's do one plus one. Yeah, I know this is not the um, most intuitive time control, but I mean I, I'm doing longer ones. Like blitz five plus three, fifteen minutes. Let's do a one plus one session. If I get some opponents, that is. What is my minimum? Two thousand. Yeah, that should work. Hmm. If I don't get a game, I'm going to reconsider. It looks like I'm not getting a game. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I get one. Is that one plus one? One plus one, yes. Let's get going. Oh wow. Have to adjust to that again, yeah. I've done much blitz um recently, not so much of one plus one, but I played quite a bit of that in recent recent month. So um, usually uh, my time killer if I'm really not up to uh, doing something serious work related, then I'm sometimes just play a bit of one of one bit of one plus one difficult. No, that, he played that well. I I did not really register that. Um, is undermining is undermining c6 here yeah? oh what is the thought okay sometimes don't don't quite understand why time is spent if the move looks completely forced i still have a i still have a good extra pawn and a pretty sizable advantage but um, it's not an automatic win. Knight f5, I wanted to play, but he's not really doing much against it. Seems like he might want to get g7, but doesn't really do much. Now I'm threatening knight e2, rook c2, all kinds of things. <clears throat> yeah, one plus one is um, a different kind of bullet because of the increment, it is by far not as hectic. Now, probably not this one. What is a good way to play this? There are a couple of things that I can do for sure. This doesn't look bad. King f4, g5 check, I get the knight back. And that leads to a very good rook ending. Let me think about this for a moment. Um, yeah, I can check him and take with check. And now keep the pawns. And now get all the passes rolling. Got many. He's got no counterplay here. Now the second pawn starts to starts to roll. I just have to avoid stalemate, which is which is possible. So I'm going for a rematch here. My, my d4 repertoire is really great for, for those quick time controls because you can very much routinely dash out moves quickly. It's um, just a, a big plus. You're, you're almost <clears throat> all the time playing the same moves with the Fianchetto and so on. 
What Black is doing here is frankly speaking a little bit ridiculous because I'm not getting mated on the H far. And I'm two points up already. That's a piece, buddy. Let's um, see that he cannot castle. <clears throat> Now c6 is attacked. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Pretty much over. Where is the mate? Mm. Really too blind to see the mate. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. It's no maid, but I'm, I'm winning, winning everything. Yeah, with increment, this is a bit pointless. I'm usually stopping matches if something like that happens, because this is just a waste of time. Because, I mean, the one second increment really um makes that very easy okay so let's go for a new opponent in particular in the video that makes relatively little sense to cover cover stuff like that it's actually not easy to get games even though i'm I set the minimum onto 2000. It's not so easy to get 1 plus 1. It's, um, yeah, maybe not the best of ideas. What about 3 plus 2 then? Let's go 3 plus 2. I like from the bottom. It always seems to work even quicker. Or not. <laughs> okay, now we got a game. The, my D4 repertoire is also pretty much uh, applicable after one night F3. It's very, uh, very often just transposes. I should have played maybe h3. Okay, he's just taking him. Yeah, th these kind of positions are, of course, very solid for black. It's um, not really something where you can expect much of an advantage when you're white. Playing this in a very slow fashion interesting not sure what he wants to do there h5 wow almost like a pre-move yeah okay mm, i can go h4 h3 yeah. or i can just allow him to go h4 Yeah, I don't like to just allow h4 like that. I want to have g4 as a reply. Now he's going back with the queen. Yeah. If you understand the point behind this, let me know. I don't I don't do it. I don't do understand the point. There must be some idea, but uh he's going back again. Okay. Uh, yes, um, yeah, this is like the most normal move. It's going back there. Hmm, okay. Yeah, now let, let me take the space. And, um, you can also think about F4. I think I will do that 
just shut down e5. Hmm, that looks very strange, actually. Why would you take away your only pawn uh, pawn lever with b6? No. Anyway, I don't really mind. Let's double on the a farm. This is probably uh, one of those super long games where black will never ever pose a threat. And I'm going to grind him down unless I'm blundering something. <laughs> yeah, very long term. There's g4, g5, e4, and black is compl completely pushed back. But for, for the moment, I can um, simply play, play for the a farm. Yeah, maybe he's going for bishop c7 here. I think I'm going to go queen a6 and ultimately um, put pressure on c6. After the queen trade, rook a6, it's not so easy for him to um, to cover. I mean, it is easy for him to cover, but it's it's an inconvenient situation, is what I was trying to say. So I go g4. It has to be done anyway. Gain more space. Um, now g5 and then e4 is the most obvious thing to do. But rook a7 might also be good. Threatening g5. Okay, now after g5 hmm. i wonder i wonder if i can improve this position a little bit more knight knight should be improved and my bishop on c3 should be improved the bishop should probably go to go to h4 yes let's do that or to g3 something like that See threatening some something. I don't see it at the moment. Um, can I go to h4 or is there a tactic? The, the bishop is unprotected on that square. Maybe I'm just making sure. Aha, now he just goes back. So knight will probably go to e7, I guess. I should regroup that to d3. Is he going for f5? No. Not going to trade. Four. No, no trade, please. It just can be annoying here, <laughs> and I have so I have time. It's not actually clear that knight to e five does accomplish anything, but. Okay, after f6, my bishop is probably... Not clear to me. Better placed here. I also have the idea to play f5 in this position. Let's do it. Yeah, I would like to have more time here, of course. That would be definitely helpful. To really figure it out, yeah, how I'm going to uh, tear this apart. It looks good though if he takes knight f4, it's got knight e6, and sometimes also there are immediate immediate issues with with bishop h5 check, for example.
you know I'm, I'm probably missing something here because because of the time situation okay so i'm winning a bit bit of material here Let's just attack. Attack the pawns one by one. Yeah, where are you going with this? Knight g8, rook takes h7. So he goes for the spy check on e4. Yeah, I got 14 seconds. That is plenty. Yeah. After b5, that was a very one-sided affair, really. Black was slowly uh, ground down. This is a very good line against 1g3 or a similar setup that I have played a lot over the years. It's um, not going to refute white setup, for sure not, but it is just so um, easy to play. You always get this kind of kind of formation and you, you always ask, at least that is what I'm doing, I'm always wondering what exactly is White's idea in this position? You're just sitting there. Okay, well, I often took with the bishop in, in these situations. It's a bit uncommon maybe, but... Okay, uh, bishop takes h6 could be, a, could be an idea here. Yeah, for the check and knight c5, both are um both are possible i think b6 does work bishop h6 bishop e4 bishop g7 okay where are you going here no what's the deal knight c3 is a bit odd i don't know where he's heading with it. Okay. Um, knight d4. I think this is. I know he can take e5. Yeah, I got time here. Yeah? I don't need to rush anything. Knight f5 to d4, maybe. Ultimately, I want a knight on d4. Typical outpost. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got something uh, particularly useful in store. Now, just knight d4, I guess so. Yeah, going for the space. Bishop d5 and then f5. Something like that should happen next. Pushing white back. The only active idea that he has is some knight g5 stuff. Actually interesting. Uh, doesn't quite work, but... It's something that I have to check. I mean, for example, I cannot just go f5 because of knight g5 check. Okay, so 
Bishop d5. Bishop e2 is a bit mysterious. Not sure what the point of this move is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to go back now, right? Knight g5 still doesn't work. Knight d2, rook e8. I'm just um, enjoying the bishop pair and a nice space advantage. Hmm. Was knight g5 maybe on in this position? Not quite, but quite close. The point of this move is probably to go to a5 here in this position. Is that, that uh, the case? b5, knight a5, it looks odd. Okay, um, queen c6 is one interesting move. Uh, and then he has to move the knight to a not too attractive square. But I also have rook e2. I think rook e2 is <clears throat> probably even better. So <clears throat> I could take c2 now right just take the pawn <clears throat> sorry voice is a bit off or queen c6 actually now why not now against knight e1 i actually have a check i can take with check so he goes to h4 after which i could take play queen f3 why can take on c2? Yeah, maybe. Mm, f5 doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just taking taking everything here. And now I have to be alert. Knight f4 is is on. Knight could be could be annoying. In particular, considering that my um, king with f five is slightly weakened. Oh, this is hanging. Shoot. I, I'm I'm a little bit nervous here due to the time. Position is of course nice still even after the blunder it's nice, but not as good as it was at the very beginning. Um, that was just completely completely lost, like a couple of moves ago. I mean, Queen F four is my threat here. Queen f4. Mm. He more or less has to take on f3. Everything is covered. Red is what is the best way to do this? Queen Queen f4 probably still. Yeah. I'm winning by mate or, or or something like this.
Yeah, no, that looked okay. So there were two games against this guy. Let's play maybe two more than somebody else. Um, okay, let's go e4. Just a bit of a challenge for myself. Go for something completely different. Okay, I'm playing this kind of grandma, grandpa setup against the dragon. It's not the most uh, challenging one for sure, but I don't think I would be able to um, to play the sharp lines without knowing the theory. Um, is e5 maybe a move here? e5, knight takes b3, takes on f6. Funny, right? Let's do this. Hmm. Isn't that a piece? I had an idea. It's not like e5 was completely random. Yeah, knight b3, ef6 should be good for white, I guess. Okay, so rematch. That was a quick one. F3 is um, a bit weird at this particular moment. Doesn't really fit into, into this position. Yeah, such a structure wouldn't be that bad for white, but he's got f3 played, and that weakens the whole position pretty severely. Why is that not losing a piece? Oh. Okay, so queen a5, knight c3, d4, bishop d7, Knight d7, and then a queen move. Wow, what a lucky guy. Really lucky that he, he blundered that completely, but it's not uh, immediately lost. Okay, I, th I still think it's good for me. Yeah, what else? <laughs> okay, so d4, bishop d7, I guess king d7, yeah? Knight takes, there is even queen e4, which is really uh, odd, but seems to work. Maybe there are even other tactics here. I just see knight, uh, I just see queen e5 in this position. Wow. Okay. So taking with the king. Mm. Yeah, I thought this, this would probably be bad news for the knight. I think this was all in all not, not well played by, by me. A couple of things uh, possible for white. Okay, now, um, first of all, go here. I don't know if I want to go a6, it's such, such a lame move. Yeah, it's probably easy to do, easy to play. Rook c8, preventing knight c4. Okay. 
what do we do with this? Probably here. F5, intending E4. The main issue really is the knight on A3, which is just completely out, out of the game. Oh, okay. Now, maybe now it's a good time to take, actually, before knight c4 happens. But this is a tough, a tough decision because everything is a huge advantage, basically. I got knight e3. That would already win quite a good chunk of material. Wins the exchange for not much. I just wonder if it's the best. Probably not. Yeah, if I do this, he more or less has to go B4. And this looks completely terrible. Mm, yeah. Maybe this one actually, that comes with the tempo. And knight takes and take on a4 is fairly easy, I think. Yeah, but you're spoiled for choice. Everything is fantastic for black. So I'm going to take a4. Knight always has a square on c3 or b2. Maybe rook e7 first. Okay, now are we going to promote? Nice, he has knight, um, sorry. Rook d5 check, maybe. Something that I can prevent. Oh. Wasn't really aware that my time was going down a bit. Yeah, it's not promoting on its own, unfortunately. Mm. And go to the seventh. Up. What's that? Mm. Yeah. I'm not so happy with how I played this. It looks like white is getting a little bit more play than it was necessary to allow him. Yeah, let's push this home. The pawns should really promote on their own. He's got the bishop on a5. Ah, there's a bishop on e1. Ah, I'm so stupid. Ah. Oh my god. What is he doing here? That was very strange. The whole sequence was very strange. Yeah, it has the right result, but I was completely, completely dumb. Uh, 
I just have to briefly revisit that. <laughs> I, I completely, I completely overlooked that he's on that twice. Yeah. That, that is so stupid. <clears throat> I can just take b5 or whatever, or d2 is also winning. I just completely forgot that he's on that. After that, it's probably, yeah, rook takes e1 would even win. Bishop takes is still a draw. Oh my. <laughs> That was that was really odd. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now. It's a pre-recorded one. As I probably mentioned, I'm away while this is released. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye, guys.